Investors and automakers agree, the future is electric. The popularity and success of Tesla has proven there is demand for electric cars. In the U.S., Tesla made up about 80% of electric car sales in 2019. And new competition continues to enter the market as more countries and states promote the use of EVs. Analysts predict record growth for EVs in 2021, especially in Europe and China. But in the U.S., electric vehicles are less than 2% of autos sold annually. Several hurdles remain for the market to really take off, and one of the biggest is charging. In one study, 83% of consumers who would not consider buying an EV said it was because of battery life and charging anxiety. In 2019, 68% of EV owners said that there is not enough charging available around their home. There are over 88,000 charging outlets and roughly 27,000 charging stations, compared to the 156,000 gas stations in the U.S. According to the Breakthrough Institute, there is an anticipated need for 9.6 million EV chargers in the U.S. by 2030. Not all charging stations are the same. Tesla chargers, for example, only work in the same way. other companies are not going to be more like There are three major types of chargers. Level 1 and Level 2 are most common in homes, workplaces, and public transit areas. They charge between 2 to 20 miles of range per hour. DC fast charging, or Level 3, can deliver 60 to 80 miles of range in roughly 20 minutes. Not every EV on the road. on its next-generation all-electric and autonomous vehicles. It unveiled the Cadillac Lyric, GMC's all-electric Hummer, and acquired an 11% stake in electric truck maker Nikola. But the company is also getting into charging. GM announced a partnership with EVgo in July to build more than 2,700 new fast chargers across the U.S. in the next five years. Several key players have emerged to fill in the gaps across the U.S. ChargePoint says it has 115,000 charging points globally, most of them in the U.S. ChargePoint's investors include Daimler, BMW, and the venture arm of Chevron Corp., among others. It plans to create as many as 2.5 million chargers by 2025. Developing infrastructure for electric charging is complex. Companies need to decide how much power they need, the kind of chargers they're going to install, and where to install them. Electrify America just finished building a cross-country route which gives users access to its DC fast charger. The company says its primary focus is fast charging. In the US alone, McKinsey & Company projects it will cost as much as $1 billion to ensure public charging stations are accessible as gas stations. Another challenge for building chargers, especially fast chargers, is how much power companies need to A study by the US Department of Energy charging infrastructure, the U.S. lags in the government has made electric cars a huge priority. China recently announced it will spend almost $1 billion yuan on battery charging infrastructure. Electric charging infrastructure has grown quickly in the past 10 years and will continue to grow as vehicles' ranges, batteries, and charging capabilities continue to improve.